Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today I'm going to be doing a full swatch video of all of the new Essence Stay Matte 8 Hour Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I think that Essence is a little bit late to the game to be releasing a line of liquid lipsticks in 2021. But oh well, um, I thought I could try them. I have all nine shades here for you. We will be swatching them on the back of my hand as well as on my lips to see what all of these look like on. And then shade nine, I will try to keep on for the rest of the day. It's just past noon, I think it's about one o'clock as I'm filming this, uh, or at least by the time I get to this final lipstick, it will be roughly one o'clock. And then we'll see if I can get eight hours of wear from it as the name suggests. Uh, so I will be updating you throughout the day. Uh, I hopefully will be able to check in in a few hours after filming this part of the video to show you what the lipstick looks like on as I'm eating and drinking and doing all that. Um, so yeah, we have nine shades and this is the first one. This is the shade Hello Sunrise and as you can see, this is a very pale nude shade, which those are never really my favorite and this seems to be quite peachy as well. And I have to say that I do really like how thin the formula of these is. Um, it's a very thin liquidy formula that does dry down and it just seems to be um, yeah, just a bit peachy for my liking, but we'll see what this looks like on my lips. So this is, I have to say, quite easy to apply. And I do have to say that it's perhaps a bit darker than I thought it was going to be. I thought this would be a lot lighter, but it definitely has a bit more color to it, which is good. But on my pale complexion, I'm never really a fan on super peachy shades. I just doesn't really, I don't think it really goes with the rest of my look. Um, but the applicator is nicely like thin and narrow. So it makes for a very precise application. So I like that. These do have a very sweet sort of like cookie dough kind of scent, very vanilla-y, uh, not really what I like, but this shade, Hello Sunrise, it has pleasantly surprised me and I can already starting to feel this formula dry down straight away. So this is already sort of really becoming that mm, sort of dried down texture. Uh, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, yeah, I like with liquid lipsticks, if they dry down, I like that. Um, for instance, I really don't mind the ColourPop uh, Ultra Matte Liquid uh, Lipstick Formula that, that they do, but I then feel I do need to wear lip balm underneath in order for my lips to not go too dry throughout the day. Um, and yeah, so this is promising in terms of like wear time because it already dries down that quickly. So that was of course a very light shade, but I have to say it was super easy to take off even though it had already started drying down. We'll see how it goes. Um, shade number two, would be the shade Duck Face. And this is my kind of nude. This seems to be that mauve sort of pinky brownie nude. Those are my favorites. So I think that I will like this a lot more than the previous shade. Ooh, yeah, that's more my more up my street. Uh, as you can see as well, like this has already dried down almost completely now that I, that's the first swatch I did. And this is the next one, which is Duck Face. So that's Hello Sunrise, this is Duck Face. Um, and Duck Face definitely has a bit more pink to it. It's a bit more brown. Um, I do feel that these colors, now that they're on the back of my hand, they seem very similar, even though if I put the tubes together, these look, like this looks so much lighter and peachier than the other one does. But on the back of my hand, they look very identical. So I do hope that this shade pulls a little bit darker and a bit more like mauve pink on my lips. So I think I, this, I, this is a bit more flattering on me, but I don't think it's still exactly what I would want from a nude. It could have a bit more pink in it for it to really work on my complexion, I think. And what I find now that I've, this is the second time, a second that I've applied, uh, I did feel that it's sort of like glooped up around the rim because these are so lightweight and so sort of like almost like a milky texture. I can't really describe it. it it's such a thin formula that it's very easy to over apply when you go in for a second layer and then it sort of like gloops around the edges um, and that's more difficult to like then wipe away, I find. Um, but yeah, I do have to say that perhaps this is a little bit more flattering on me. Duck face, 
I think that if you're looking for a good standard nude, this is probably the best, but I have to say that in ter terms of pigmentation, I think it has a little bit of sheerness in my bottom lip, and this is drying down super fast, and it has this very sort of like velvety feel, and I don't know about you, but my lips aren't the youngest. And this is making my lips look super dry and has like really strong lines in it. So I'm not sure how the other ones are going to go, whether it's just this one or whether this is just going to be a thing now that I'm applying nine of these onto my lips. Um, but yeah, this, this could be one where you definitely need to use a good exfoliator and then also go in with a very strong lip balm to make sure that your lips still look plump and not like the life has been sucked out of them because that's what I feel this, this one is doing a bit. So not only did duck face dry down a lot more quickly than the first one, I also feel that it was much more difficult to remove. I definitely had to like wipe, like that makeup wipe definitely had to get its like, had to do a bit of a workout. Um, but we have more shades to go. This is number three, Down to Earth. This seems to be like a corally, quite orangey, peachy kind of shade. Again, usually not my favorite, but for the sake of video, we are trying it out. Ooh. That looks, that's, that, that, that's quite pretty, actually. It has quite a bit of pink to it, it seems. We'll see how it goes onto the lips. So there you have Down to Earth, which is this shade right here. I think it's a really soft, like pretty peachy shade. Would this be something that I would wear on the daily? Probably not, but I still think that this is a little bit more flattering than the first two that I already showed you. This is again, not drying down as quickly in that like sort of sucking out kind of way that Duck Phase did. I definitely think that may be one of the few ones that really sort of sucks the life out of you. This still looks pretty okay, I have to say. So, so far, down to earth has to be my favorite. Shade number four is called Mad About You, and this seems to be like a dark rose color. It's not exactly pink. We have a couple of pinks coming up next. Um, but it's sort of like between a coral and a pink, I would say. This seems to be an interesting shade. I usually like these sort of like in-between kind of lipstick shades. I tend to think they are really fun. So let me see what this looks like. Ooh, yeah, this is like a, a deeper rosy kind of shade. So that is pretty. I think this will be really pretty on. Let's see. And that would be mad about you. And hmm, I do really like this shade. This is definitely one that I would consider keeping around just because it's so unique and very different. It isn't too pink or rosy, but it definitely still has that rosiness to it. I just think that I did a bit of a shoddy application at my on my top lip. Um, this um, I did feel that this wasn't as thin as liquidy as some of the nudes. The two earlier ones were super thin. I feel this has a slightly thicker formula, um, and that made it apply a lot more easily. It didn't really sort of go everywhere for my uh, for my tastes. But I did feel that as I was like doing the second layer that I got a little bit extra here on my top lip. So I feel it sort of dried down a bit darker up here than it did anywhere else. So this may be one that you have to be very careful with that you get a very even application just to make sure that shade looks even. Um, but this as well, again, it doesn't really suck all of the joy out of my lips, I feel, like the duck face shade, shade did. This is definitely feeling a lot more comfortable and just like a very soft matte feeling. So, so far, uh, Mad About You um, is definitely something that I don't have a lot in my collection. And then we have a neutrally kind of pink. I think this may be the most pink one in the bunch. Uh, this is Date Proof. And again, this is like one of those shades that I think I might like. This may actually be that like, nah, I don't think it's too mauve. Let's see what it swatches like. Oh yeah, this is definitely a fair bit lighter than Mad About You. So, but it does have to seem to have a bit more purple in it. So this could be closest to a mauve that this line has to offer. So I would categorize this as like a deep rose and this is more of like a mauve, but it definitely has a lot of pink to it. So I'm not sure, like I like it more when they lean more purpley than they lean more pink. So we'll see how it goes.
So there we have date proof and um, as I had feared, it's a little bit too light, a little bit too pink for my taste. This really reminds me of a MAC lipstick I used to own called Pink Plaid. And I used to be all about that shade uh, a couple of years ago, but in the end I felt it was a little bit too pale. Like if this had the depth of Mad About You, then I think I would have liked it a little bit better. Um, this is pretty, but not really for me. I'm wearing quite a neutral look today because I knew I was going to be wearing all of these lipsticks. Um, but I don't feel it really goes with a neutral look. This is definitely something that would work well if you wear a more colorful eye. I think this lipstick with a blue eye could work really well. It's just not really a shade that's going with what I've got going on right now. On to a berry shade. This is number 06, to be fair. And again, this, this can be pretty. Uh, I'll swatch it with these like other more like similarly toned shades. Um, but again, this may be a little bit more pink. Oh, what's going on? Look at, like this shade is almost identical to Day Proof. Like what's going on here? There's hardly any difference between the two. This may be a little bit more plum than this. So I think this will be more successful for me, but yeah, I don't, like if you do a nine shade lipstick range, don't we at least want to have very distinct shades? And here we have two nudes that are almost identical. And now we have like two pinky shades that are almost identical. Yeah, so this is what I like better on myself. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. It leans towards more the plumberry side of things. It's not too pink, it's not too light. I think that this complements my complexion quite well. So this is 06 to be fair, um, but to be quite honest, I think that either one of these will give you a very similar effect. This is definitely a little bit more purpley, which is what I prefer, but I think that date proof might appeal to more people because it's a bit more pink and therefore a bit more wearable, I think. The next shade is Let's Chill. And this is like a brownish red, it seems. Um, could be interesting. I, uh, Essence did a brownish toned red in their This Is Me nude lipstick line, and that ended up being my favorite shade from that lineup. So this is again, one of those sort of like very indistinct kind of colors. And that's what I tend to like quite a bit, just like that rosy shade. Um, so let me see if I swatch this, what it looks like. Ooh. It pulls a lot more pink on the back of my hand. Had not expected that. I thought it was going to be more red and more brown, but it's more like a, a deep rose. Yeah, this is, especially now this is dried down. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, not day proof. Mad About You, number four. Mad About You, this one. Uh, that just looks a bit more like mauve now, and this is perhaps a bit more like pink. Uh, these shades, mm, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about them yet. Uh, these may not be my favorite. Okay, so my lips are getting to that point where it starts to become very difficult to make sure I get a good application. But I feel that this pulls a lot darker than what I would expect from the swatch. It definitely looks lighter and more like rosy pink in the swatch on the back of my hand than it does on my lips. It's still very much like rosy undertoned, um, but this is definitely one that has an interesting shade to it. I don't think I would wear it much though, because it's too indistinct. <laughs> so I like indistinct shades that sort of like, are that sort of like go between, but I don't really know what I would wear this with unless it was like a very sort of neutral look, which if I wanna wear a neutral with like something bolder, I tend to go for a straight up red. I feel that that just works better on me. This is, I think this is a good option if you're someone who is nervous about like darker lipsticks and you want to go away from a nude and you sort of want to get used to seeing yourself in a slightly darker shade, but you don't want to bite the bullet and go for like a super like intense red or something. Um, then we have a bright red. This is Dare You. I don't, in the bullet, like the, the plasticky thing, it, in, the, in the viewfinder, it looks more red than it does in real life. It doesn't look like it's a straight up classic red, but we'll see. I, I have been surprised by some of these 
uh, before when I swatched them. So maybe it is a more classic blue toned red. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I was hoping it would be. So this is probably going to be my favorite shade, I'm not going to lie. I love a good red lipstick, and especially liquid lipsticks, if they stay put very well. I would recommend getting a liquid lipstick in a red. If you want to try a liquid lipstick, because then at least it's going to stay all day and you don't have to worry about it going everywhere. That's provided if these stay put. I don't know yet. I knew I was going to like this. <laughs> but I have other red liquid lipsticks that I like better than this. Um, so uh, the Ofra liquid lipstick in Atlantic City, and I also really like the Maybelline one in Pioneer, their Superstay Ink. Um, so I'm not sure if this is going to hold a candle to those two. But yeah, it's just, if I slap on a red lipstick, something happens. I don't know what it is, but if I put on a bright red, my face just lights up. And not just because it makes me happy and because it's fun, but I feel it just, like my pale skin, and then with, especially with the golden toned I am wearing to, right now, it just works. All right, last but not least, and then my lips can whew, take a rest. Bite me if you can. A deeper red, it definitely seems to look like a red and not like a plum or a berry. Uh, which surprises me, because usually the darkest shade in Essence and Catrice lipsticks is a berry. So, uh, of course, we never know what this is going to look like. Ooh. Ooh. That's an interesting shade. That looks really stunning. I think it's a bit more berry than the packaging makes it out to seem. It looks like a dark red. I definitely think it has a bit of plum to it. But on me, this could just look like a straight up dark red. So let's see how it goes. This is stunning. So this is Bite Me If You Can. It's a really nice deep, sort of Mac Diva, Mac Sin kind of shade. That's what it reminds me of. It's not too plum, it's not too berry. It's just really, really dark and vampy. And so far, as these have been drying on my hand, I feel they all dry down a little bit more, like a little bit deeper than how they first went on. So if this dries down, which it's already doing on the back of my hand, I think it's going to pull even a little bit darker. And I have to say that the texture of the red and this really deep shade, like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but in this swatch, I have a lot of texture in my hand. And then in that red, there's just no lines whatsoever. So it does seem like this formula, even though it feels quite similarly once you apply them, it does seem that not all of the shades are created equal in terms of formula. That duck face shade definitely sort of was very liquidy and very thin and sort of glooped everywhere and it really sucked the life out of my lips. Whereas this one and also the red, I feel that those kind of almost filled in the lines of my lips and it looked a lot more even and it was just a lot better looking, I would say. I do have like the perennial red ring of doom around my mouth now of swatching all of these lipsticks because those reds and all that so there's a lot of staining around my lip line that has nothing to do with this lipstick okay I just want to point that out before we get to the testy bit of this video but yeah let's get this wear, wear test step, uh, started and I will see you in a few hours all right so I finished filming my uh, video that I had to do and it's like a good two two and a half hours later the only thing I've had so far to eat or drink is a glass of water and whenever I drink water it almost feels as if the lipstick is coming off but so far it's doing okay. It seems to be a bit sheer on my lip here. Let me grab a mirror so I can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, in that top lip, I can sort of see a little bit of a gap and like the edges of my mouth, that's where it's no longer stuck. But you can sort of see that in the inside of my mouth and also on my bottom lip, that's where it's completely gone. So I think that once I eat something, I will probably be left with like this ring of color and then the rest of the lipstick will just go. As I mentioned, whenever I drink 
or consume something, it really feels as if that's where then the lipstick starts to almost dissolve, like it just disappears. You can sort of feel it disappearing. So where my lips now sort of sit together when I close my mouth, that's where I feel all of the lipstick has already disappeared. Not sure how this is gonna go, but uh, so far these are a bit of a bummer for me. Oh well, and yeah, that all that smudging is from swatching the lipstick, so that's not the lipstick bleeding or anything, that's from me not being able to re, like, re redo my makeup after I did all of the swatching. Alright, so I uh, finished having dinner and doing all that, it's a few hours later now, it's about three hours later, and this lipstick is not looking great. Um, it also, if I touch it, it transfers. So when while I was eating, I was having like some bun kind of thing. My fingers were covered in lipstick. And I was telling you earlier how the smudges around my mouth were from, sw from the swatches earlier today and not from the lipstick wearing down. By now, it's from the lipstick wearing down. And I'm not sure if you can see, oh, I still have mustard on my cheek. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Um, so, do you see how smudgy and red that looks? Especially like this part of my mouth. And then also like this inner part of my mouth. Like there's only like a third of the lipstick left. If they all wear down like this, it's just not worth it even for how affordable they are. So I'm terribly sorry to say that and to end the video on a little bit of a negative note, but I do hope that this video was useful for you and that you get an idea of what these eight hour essence liquid lipsticks look like and that you can hopefully use this video to inform yourself if you were interested in looking into these. They are not my favorite ones, but maybe you like some of these, who knows. So without further ado, I really hope to, uh, I really would like to thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.